Hey everybody, today we're gonna to be talking about which book reigns supreme in my opinion. Both books by Travis Baldry. We have Legends and Lattes and his new release, which I was fortunate enough to get an advanced copy of, Bookshots and Bone Dust. So hi, my name is Talia. I love books, I love bandanas. I'm so glad you're at my channel today. So Travis Baldry kind of took booktube by storm a little bit last year when he released Legends and Lattes. And I was super late to the bandwagon on this one. Um, I actually just finished reading it a couple of weeks ago. And while I was reading it, I actually was able to get an advanced copy via NetGalley of um, his new release, which coming, which is coming out soon, of um, the prequel to Legends and Lattes, which is called Bookshops and Bone Dust. So I'm gonna be chatting a little bit about both of these books today. So I had heard so many people talking about how much they loved Legends and Lattes. Um, and I will say it did not disappoint. Reading Legends and Lattes made me, like so many other people have said, um, it made me just want to quit everything I'm doing and go open a coffee shop and overcome all obstacles. And um, yeah, it just gave me like all the warm vibes and all the love and all the friendship. And it was just, it was just amazing. I just, I loved it. I thought it was so well done. Um, a super good read. Um, so I'm not going to talk too much about that because there are tons of reviews out there on Legends and Lattes. I am going to move on to Bookshops and Bone Dust um, because when I first heard that it was a prequel, which is like right as I started um, reading the first one, I, I saw chat I think on Discord about um, how the next one coming out is a prequel. I was like, oh no. Like I, I don't know if any of you had that same reaction when you found out he was writing a prequel, but I was just like, oh no, it's before? because. As most of you know, Bookshop's um, Legends and Lattes is like Viv escaping from her life like in combat and like hunting people and like violence and she wants to go have this coffee shop. Um, so I was like, well, if it's a prequel, are we going to Viv's life in like combat? Like, how are we gonna get the same warm fuzzy vibes? Like, I, I was just not that excited about it, but when I started reading it, I will say, actually, it was able to pull off some of the same vibes. Um, so this is gonna be spoiler free because I don't wanna ruin the book for you. I will say the general premise is that Viv is injured and she is, um, her people like leave her in this town for her to recover. And while she's in this town, she finds a bookshop um, that needs some help. So it has kind of the same like, building up entrepreneurial vibes that are in Legends and Lattes, except for it's like a bookshop theme. So um, if you're worried about having like the same kind of vibes and theme, um, it definitely does. It, it will not disappoint you. Um, I will say for me, it was not as good as Legends and Lattes for two reasons. Um, number one, there was quite a bit more profanity in it. Um, I will say like, F word here, there, everywhere, which is fine. And when used in books in like extreme circumstances, um, like doesn't particularly bother me. Like we're in the world, we hear it all the time, right? Um, but when I'm reading books and it feels like it's just forced and thrown in um, and like made for like a reaction, it um, kind of bugs, starts to bug me. So um, there was that. The second thing that I didn't love as much um, in Bookshops and Bone Dust as I did in Legends and Latte, it was the, in Legends and Lattes was the romance. Um, so there is a different, um, love interest that Viv has. And, um, well, well, I didn't hate it. Like it was a sweet story. Um, I, I just didn't love it as, as much as I did as, Le as Legends and Lattes. It felt a little forced and knowing what I did about how Viv acts in the future, um, in her romance, it seemed a little bit far-fetched. Um, so yeah, I, I liked the story. It did have a little bit more action. So there was a little bit more, um, 
like a little bit more going on, a little bit more mystery, I would say, um, than Legends and Latte had. So I, I liked that. Um, it felt a little bit like someone told Travis Baldry, hey, like we need another book. We need it pretty quickly. Make it a little more spicy and um, put a little bit more profanity in it. it. It just felt a little bit forced and it didn't have the same natural charm that I wanted from Legends and Lattes. Um, I will say I did enjoy the ending and he left room for another book, which I definitely will read. So I feel like that makes it a success, right? If an author does a book that makes you feel something and um, entertains you and makes you curious about what will come next, um, he's definitely done his job. So um, recommend with the caveat, don't expect to be exactly as thrilled as you were um, with Legends and Lattes, because at least for me, we didn't quite get there. Um, but thank you to NetGalley and to the publisher and to Travis Baldry for um, letting me um, have an advanced copy of Bookshops and Bone Dust. I so appreciate it. And it's super fun to be able to give it a review a little bit before it comes out. So that is all I'm going to talk about today. I hope you are doing well wherever you are. I hope you take some time today to read a good book or two. And if you're having a bad hair day, to swear bandana. Bye. Just as I was doing that closure, I realized that I'm batch filming and I didn't change my bandana or my shirt. So it's going to be really obvious that I'm back, <laughs> that I'm batch filming today, but I'm not refilming this. So, is what it is.